stick with that breaking news going on in New Haven. As Kate just mentioned, a section of I-95 North is shut down right now after a serious crash involving a tractor trailer. Yeah, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo, just about two miles away from where that highway is shut down. She's joining us now live. Audrey, good morning. What have you learned so far? Good morning. Well, first and foremost, we are as close as we possibly can be while still remaining safe. But I think the headlights behind me really paint a clear picture of just the mess that this has all caused this morning. We're going to zoom in so you can see cars being diverted off of 95 northbound. But essentially, state police tell us that this crash happened around 3 o'clock this morning. Just after 3, they were called to the area between exit 44 and 46 for a tractor trailer and car collision. We know that that collision caused a car to catch on fire, and state police tell us serious injuries have been reported. But they haven't specified whether or not it was the driver of the tractor trailer, the car, or both. We don't even know how many people were involved, let alone who was specifically injured, but we know that as they're processing the scene, serious injuries were reported. Now. This is closed between 44 and 46, so you can see all of the cars that are being diverted off at exit 43. And just for a little bit of context here, that is the first exit headed northbound after you cross the West River. Now, a little bit of good news here. There are some other options. A short distance on a couple of side roads will bring you to 91 northbound if you're trying to head north. But uh, state police tell us they are not sure when this section of highway is going to reopen because of course they have to process the scene and make sure that they have everything documented so if you're headed in this direction this morning just be prepared for some delays now we're going to continue to stay on the scene and bring you some updates as we learn them but for now I'm live in new haven audrey russo for channel 3 eyewitness news